what are some of the trends that you're noticing? You know, as you're kind of thinking about, like you said, this is a big ship, right? So you can't afford to look out what are the trends going to be in three months? You know, you've got to look out 6, 12, 18 plus. Yeah. What are what are some of the trends that you're seeing that, you know, you feel are going to be critical over the next, you know, two to three years? I see consolidation and you're starting to see it, right? It's starting to see it. You saw Terminus acquiring Sixter. Terminus is acquiring um, the chatbot and they're starting to build a platform. Demand base just that acquired... Um, uh, uh, the Engageo, and I think yep. they just acquired two companies today or yesterday. Uh, see, yeah, I know they acquired Engageo. Yeah, but today they announced they acquired Demand Metrics or merged or something. Oh, I saw. Inside, yeah, there's, there, there was two other ones. And Inside, Inside View. View. Inside yeah. View and Demand Metrics or something. So like that, they're yeah. consolidating. Uh, they're starting to bring in a lot of these platform level tools, which, you know, tying that back into the data right it's like you have all these data silos going on and and i think the terminus story is a really good one um because if you think about it a lot of the programmatic account-based targeting uh technology runs on ip resolution um and i think the availability of data is going to start getting being harder right but then terminus now has this chat stuff and you're you're doing all these chats you're doing sixter which is all the emails you know, you're sending millions and millions of emails. Those emails are picking up IP data, right. cookie data, bringing it into this pool, which is making your targeting stronger. So I think companies who are going to adopt this, this strategy to consolidate, and and I think companies like Eloqua and Marketo and the other one, um, Pardot, they're leaving the door open. Like, is there any types of tech that your team is vetting right now or that you, you know, have your eye on this year? We've got a lot of global programs, regional programs, keeping kind of visibility um, and just optimizing resource allocation for my team is, it gets a lot of mind share for me. So we're looking at a couple of different platforms to help us do that. You know, sort of connecting our CMS, which is our content management sure. system and, you know, some of the people things, but just really creating visibility and uh, around that kind of, my boss used to say, he's like, I want to be able to look at the, the machine floor and see who's working on what at one moment in time. So that's a focus for us. Um, we are looking, we actually have, we're deploying uh, a data almost aggregation platform to be able to connect a lot of these disparates. So I've got sort of Google analytics that gives me some set of information and I've got all my pipeline information that gets me there and Salesforce. I got all these other digital media acquisition information. Yep. But they all, again, they all live in different places, give me different perspectives. And so we're really trying to pull those together so that I can look at a campaign, an initiative, a webinar, and kind of understand that that holistic view of how people are interacting. Interesting. Uh, that to me is a big is a big initiative and it's it's hard. It's it's been hard to get get that sort of data backbone built. It, do you see technology coupled with these process change to to drive that change you know i would say one of the things going back to your earlier question about what's what's the new new of of abm and and you know I, when i started in abm in 2015 uh when you built your target account list it was i want to say static but it was pretty close to static you know you built your your yeah. ic your ideal client profile and and you identified firmographics, uh, and and then maybe you'd, you know we would get in a refresh cycle every quarter. Right. Fast forward six years, it's real time. Your your target accounts, uh, and if anything, since the pandemic, the realization that your your list is like produce, it starts stinking after a while. You've got to um, have that technology that allows you to do real time. Thing, you know, signals like predictive fit, uh, intent, uh, tying in the engagement through your email marketing systems or your website activity, your own insights, um, called the you know first first data sources.